Adobe is pleased to deliver this demonstration of the most comprehensive e-signing solution for ServiceNow. The Adobe Sign integration for ServiceNow HR Service Delivery makes it easy to eliminate ink signatures while reducing legal and compliance risks by allowing you to add legally binding e-signature features to your ServiceNow HR documents. Let's take a look. First, let's meet the heroes of this demo and introduce their stories. Savannah Kesich is an HR manager at Contoso, a global technology company. Warren Speech is a Contoso HR specialist. Andrew Jackson is a new Contoso employee. And Conrad Sims is a benefits attorney at an external management consulting company. These are the main sections of the demo that we'll cover. Let's start by having the HR manager, Savannah, create a new case for her new employee, Andrew Jackson. In the case preparation form, Savannah must first select one of the HR services that comes with ServiceNow HR Service Delivery. She chooses the Adobe Sign Equity Choice Service. This service provides a seamless creation, processing, tracking, and auditing workflow that will result in a secure, certified, and legally binding equity selection document for both Andrew and the HR department. The case is created and will be assigned to Warren Speech, an HR specialist in Savannah's organization. To start the workflow, she clicks Ready for Work. Let's switch over to HR Specialist Warren Speech's session and pick up the workflow from there. In the list of cases assigned to Warren, he sees the one just created by Savannah for Andrew Jackson. He clicks the information icon to open a preview. Warren now clicks Open Record to see the full case. He can preview the Equity Choice document now before sending it to Andrew. The preview will show all mapped ServiceNow data and the Adobe Sign text tags that will be mapped by Adobe when sending the document. The document looks good, so Warren clicks Generate. This important step attaches the document to the case. Next, Warren clicks Send to Adobe Sign to begin the e-signature process. Then he clicks Review Adobe Sign Details to open the Details page. Here, Warren can change some of the default content if he needs to. The primary recipient, Andrew Jackson's email address, is pre-populated by the service, but Warren needs to add Conrad Sims, the outside attorney, as a certified recipient to the list. Warren adds Conrad Sims's email address and clicks the down arrow to show the recipient type options. Conrad will be a certified recipient. He will sign to positively acknowledge receipt of the signed agreement. With the recipient specified, Warren will now preview the document and add a signature field for Conrad. He clicks the checkbox to do so, and then clicks Next. Warren sees the signature block for the primary recipient, Andrew Jackson. He will now create a signature field for the certified signer, Conrad Sims. He selects Conrad's name from the list. Finally, Warren drags and drops a signature field from the choices at the right to the document body. With the signature block in place, Warren is ready to send the document. He clicks Send to start the process. Here is the notification that the case and its document have been successfully sent out for signature. Next, we'll switch to employee Andrew Jackson's experience. Andrew starts his day in his ServiceNow dashboard, where he sees a new item on his to-do list. He clicks the task associated with it to open the details. The service added an Adobe Sign widget to Andrew's task page, requesting him to preview and sign the associated document. Here is Andrew's Equity Choice election form. This form has merged data from his employee record and other fields, such as his investment options and beneficiary, remain to be completed now. Andrew chooses the 100% RSUs, 0% options balance for his portfolio. Next, he adds a beneficiary then a social security number, and a date of birth. And because Adobe Sign has field validation, you can be assured that you'll get the right type of data in the right fields. He adds his relationship to the beneficiary, and finally, what percentage of the benefits this beneficiary will receive. Andrew scrolls down to the signature section of the document. He clicks into the box to start the signing process. In the Adobe Sign window, Andrew starts to sign. Note that while we're showing the Adobe Sign experience on a desktop, Andrew could sign the document from his mobile device as well without requiring any additional apps or downloads. 
After e-signing, Andrew clicks Apply. To complete the signing process, Andrew first agrees to the terms. By clicking Click to Sign, Andrew formally affixes his legally binding e-signature to the document. Andrew returns to his service center and sees that the item in his to-do list has disappeared. Let's return to the case manager's experience now as he tracks progress of this case. HR specialist and case manager Warren wants to keep track of the Andrew Jackson case, so he returns to his list of active cases. He sees that the case is out for signature, as expected, but he wants more detail, so he clicks to open it. Andrew scrolls down to the signature section of the case. In the Adobe Signers tab, Warren sees that Andrew has signed the document, but it is still awaiting certification from Conrad Sims. He'll check back in a while. Conrad Sims is responsible for certifying that all Equity Choice documents have been correctly completed and signed by new employees during their onboarding process. In his email inbox, Conrad sees a message requesting him to review and acknowledge receipt of the document just signed by Andrew. He clicks the link to open it. Note that Conrad does not need to be a user in Contoso's service now. With Adobe Sign, he can certify the document directly from his email account. Here is Andrew Jackson's Equity Choice Election form. Conrad sees that all the options and fields are filled out correctly. He then clicks Start to move to the section of the document that requires his attention. Conrad sees that Andrew properly e-signed the document, so he will add his own signature to certify that he received and reviewed it. He clicks into the signature block and fills out the Adobe Sign window. He clicks Apply. Finally, Conrad clicks Acknowledge Receipt to affix his e-signature to the document. Here is the notification that the document has been successfully acknowledged. Warren Speech will now review the case and note the updated status. Warren notes that both Andrew Jackson and Conrad Sims have signed the document. He scrolls up to the top of the page to see the attached documents. Warren clicks the second attachment, which is the one completed by both signers. At the top left is the certification by Adobe Sign that this document is valid and has not been altered or tampered with. Warren scrolls to the bottom of the document to view the signature page. He sees that Andrew has completed and signed the form, and it was acknowledged as received by Conrad Sims. The case can be closed. Plus, Adobe Sign provides a complete audit trail of the transaction. Warren can take a quick look at it now simply by clicking Andrew's signature. And here is the audit trail from start to finish. So as you can see, ServiceNow and Adobe Sign are even better when used together. Download the free Adobe Sign for HR service delivery integration from the ServiceNow store. For more information, and to sign up for a 30-day free trial of Adobe Sign, please visit adobe.com.